how to have a mind like a steel trap to supersize and grow your business. Um, I, of course, don't have a steel trap around the little kangaroo, but <laughs> I want to demonstrate a steel trap. This, this idiom, this expression, of course, came from the trapping industry where steel traps, you know, the, we've all seen the bear claws that come together and trap bears or badgers or beavers. Anyway, any kind of steel trap, steel traps for the basket traps as well. And they are quick, they're accurate, they're efficient, and that's how we want our mind to be when we're growing and building and supersizing our business. Now, here's the thing I've learned about having a mind like a steel trap. I don't have to be the one in my business to supersize and grow my business that has the mind like a steel trap. I just have to find and attract the people that are sharp and quick and agile and efficient and effective to join my team, be a part of my team, and together... We work to create the business that we want, the supersized business that we want. But it does help if we are mentally strong and if all of the people on our team are more mentally strong on a regular basis, that benefits everyone. Now, this idiom, this expression uh, has been used since 1916. There are variations of it since the 18, late 1800s or you know, middle to, to late 1800s. But it just means that um, we're, we're staying sharp, we're quick, we're efficient, we're agile, we're able to capture the customers in the business that we need all kinds of ways of looking at it but i want to talk about and share a few ways of becoming mentally strong so that we can become more mentally strong because it's something we need to do a little bit of every day in order to stay sharp as well as how do we attract team members and strategic partners and coaches and mentors and masterminds or organizations that we belong to that will help keep us sharp keep us up to speed on our industry, other industries, and how we can go about building and growing and supersizing our business. So what are some ways we can stay mentally fit? And I'm going to run through this list really, really quickly because it's got 15 things on it. And I could probably talk about it for 15 minutes. But I'll just highlight a couple of my favorites. Focus on the present moment. And all of these lists about how to be successful and how to, how to be mentally strong or how to be anything that we want to be, I've noticed over time, you start to see a pattern. They all have gratitude on them. They all have uh, being positive. They all have being focused. They all have discipline. They all have consistency. They all have challenge yourself, challenge your mind, turn your failures into opportunities. All of the lists start to sound the same. If you study and keep your mind sharp and strong by studying and continuing to learn about your organization, about your competition about your industry about the world and the world of business and how it works so focus on the present moment embrace adversity exercise your mind challenge yourself respond positively be mindful uh, don't be defeated by fear be aware of self-talk rid yourself of can't there's no such thing as can't my dad my dad uh, brainwashed that one into my sisters and I when we were little girls uh, stumble towards success meaning <clears throat> and and those who have succeeded know this, like people that have not succeeded don't know it and don't understand it. The more successful we are, the more failures we've actually racked up before we the appearance of our success shows up. Uh, people will always tell you when you're super successful or you're more successful than they are that you got lucky. And I just find it fascinating that the harder I work, the luckier I get. And, and every other successful person will tell you that as well. Um, so no such thing as can't stumble towards success. Pile your failures up and go from failure to failure with no loss of enthusiasm because you know it's leading you closer to the success that you are um, going to find eventually. Uh, find solutions. Be solution focused instead of problem focused. Be grateful. Gratitude shows up on every list of everything to get what we want. Uh, Brace yourself for the storms, prepare for the storms, because you know they're going to come, right? The, the ups and downs automatically happen in business as well as in life. Define your moments, meaning pay attention to your successes. Pay attention to what's working so you can create and do more of that. Uh, and then make it an everyday pursuit. Make sure that every day you're doing something to continually improve and move your business ahead. So I would love to know, how do you stay mentally strong and mentally fit? How do you have a mind like a steel trap? Or how do you attract people to your organization that are smarter than you are? I have lots of people that work with me that are way smarter than I am. I couldn't even imagine being as sharp or as strong or as smart and, and uh, creative as they are. And that's, that's the fun of it is when we do 
and surround ourselves with people that are stronger and better than we are, it makes us better. Uh, I learned that playing tennis when I was young. I could, could see and I could actually play tennis. And I learned that I loved playing against people that were better than me. And unfortunately, my younger sister was always the much stronger, better tennis player than me. So she was my doubles partner, but she also would be someone that I practiced against in singles because she was better than me. And by playing her, it made me better. And that's how we need to look at the whole uh, team building and strategic partnering in order to build and grow and supersize our business. Surround ourselves with people that challenge us to be better because we always could be better than we are right now. <clears throat> All right, that's our Monday message. Have an awesome day. If I can help you in any way, ask. Otherwise, I will be with you tomorrow with another mental well-being idiom for the month of March. Have a great day.